Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about Mirror Mirror 3, The Voyeur. So I had spoken about Mirror Mirror 1 that I really liked it. It was pretty fun. Not amazing, but it was a good kind of low-budget, under-the-radar horror movie. I said 2 was okay, but it was nothing great. I kind of take back what I said about 2 now that I've watched 3. 3 is atrocious. It's horrible. Two is great compared to three. Two is probably like a five, maybe a six max. Probably more like a five. Three, The Voyeur, is like a two. <laughs> the movie has Billy Drago and his wife, as well as Mark Ruffalo, who plays his brother. They look nothing alike. Billy moves into a new home. The mirror is in the home. Billy has all these problems because I think his ex-girlfriend or something who he's still hung up on, he's having all these hallucinations and like fantasies about. She had some other boyfriend who was a gang member and he, there's a thin line of you don't know, did he kill her or did she kill him? Or is the mirror just warping things? So Billy Drago is now hallucinating about all this stuff and Mark Ruffalo is involved. I don't want to say how in case for some weird reason you want to watch this movie. The movie has two main women. It's the girlfriend and then the wife who both have names that start with C and the brunette's hair is blonde. So I got a little confused as to which one was which at certain points, but I think I figured it out. There is ton of... A ton of slow motion effects, as well as nude scenes with the women sleeping with certain people, and slow motion, and then, like, bad porno music. It's horrible. It is so bad. It's, it's hard to pay attention to because it's that bad of a movie. And I, I liked one, like I said, two, I, I kind of crapped on, but I take it back. Three is the worst of the four that I've seen. I don't remember four, but I'm going to go back and rewatch four soon, and I'll do a video on that as well. But that's the gist of the movie. That he's dealing with his like inner demons, and he's having this difficult time, and his wife is kind of giving him a hard time because he knows she knows he's still focused on the the ex girlfriend who I guess died recently by the hands of this gang member boyfriend, and it's just. You don't know what's real and what isn't. And then it has an okay ending, but the movie kind of goes nowhere and does nothing. And it only has the four actors. It's bad. Um, do not watch Mirror Mirror 3 The Voyeur. It's not good. And the funny part is, Mark Ruffalo was in 2. He's a totally different character in 3. Billy Drago's in three, and he's in four, but he's a totally different character in three and four. I don't know. I guess I guess one did well enough that they wanted to cash in on the names, the name Mirror Mirror, and continue the legacy. Kind of like the Amityville movies that Vinegar Syndrome put out last year. They put out this great box set. I don't have it, but it has all these weird spin-off Amityville movies where a clock from the Amityville house is in a new house and the clock is doing things and the people in the house are flipping out because of the clock from the house. So now it no longer even involves the house. That sort of reminds me of this. This mirror just jumps places and all the craziness follows this mirror and every little story just gets progressively worse. So I'm going to watch four, which is, um, oh crap, I can't think of the name. Anyway, Mirror Mirror 4, there's a, another name to it. And uh, I will do another video in whenever. But yeah, that's my little synopsis of Mirror Mirror 3, The Voyeur. Don't watch it. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.